ladies, I want to talk to you just for a few minutes about the movie The War Room. I don't know if you've seen it yet. If you haven't, I encourage you to go see it. There are some great, great things to learn from this film. They did a fantastic job. It has to talk about marriage, when marriage is struggling. It talks about God's grace and forgiveness, the power of prayer, all sorts of great stuff. And here's my hope. My hope is that not only seeing the movie, but using this video as a tool to share with other women in your lives, especially those that are struggling in their own marriage. There's so many great nuggets to take from this movie and hopefully from this video. I'm just gonna give you the, the kind of bullet points, some quick things that I pulled from the movie to hopefully help you to help other women that are struggling and need God's hope. And the first thing is we need a strategy to fight for marriage. Here's the thing, ladies, marriage is complicated and the culture in our world around us is of the mindset, listen, if you're fighting a lot, if you don't have that loving feeling anymore, then move on, who cares? Go find somebody else that makes you happy. And the problem with that is that's not how God designed marriage to be. That when we share vows on our wedding day, it's a promise that we're not promising to just be committed to our marriage until we don't feel like it anymore, right? We're making a commitment that's supposed to last a lifetime. And so we find ourselves in a culture that's telling us to devalue marriage, but yet we all are struggling in our marriages in different ways. You know, we struggle with communication. Maybe we struggle with trust issues. Maybe we don't feel like our spouse puts us on the high priority list. Whatever it is, we need to have a new strategy for how we fight for marriage. And in this movie, what was so beautiful was this precious woman Miss Clara came into this young woman's life and mentored her and encouraged her and said, listen, you're struggling in your marriage, but the way to fight for your marriage is not to just get bitter and resentful towards your husband. Pray for your husband. Pray for your marriage. So that's the best strategy of all, ladies, that whether it's for your own marriage or for somebody else who's struggling in theirs, that the real strategy is to start with prayer. Here's the second lesson. We need to fight the real enemy. See, here's the truth. There is a deceiver in this world, and his name is Satan, and he will do anything to take away our joy, our hope, stands in the exact opposite of what God stands for. So when it comes to marriage, he is in there trying to deceive us, trying to rob us of joy, trying to break up marriages and families. And so we need to recognize that when we're struggling in our marriage, to not think about our spouse as the enemy, not to think about all their faults and all the things that they're doing wrong, but to remember the real enemy is Satan and we need to stand up to him and we need to say no more. And in fact, one of the most powerful scenes in that whole movie was when Miss Clara had challenged this young woman to start praying for her marriage. She would go in her closet and start praying for her husband. Even though she was still hurt and frustrated and angry with him, she started praying for him and she walked around her house and she made a point to say, yelling out to Satan, you do not have residence in this home anymore. You will not take over this place. You will not continue to be a divider in this home and I am casting you out. And that's what we need to do, ladies. We need to remember that there is a real enemy out there and he's the deceiver and he's gonna try and take everything away from us and try and make us doubt what God really has for us. And we need to recognize that the enemy really is Satan and we need to stand up against him and not see our spouse as the enemy anymore. And the third lesson is that we need to extend grace. You know, we talk about grace a lot. If you go to church, you hear about this idea of God's grace and that we should be gracious toward others. And the truth is that grace is all about being good to someone who doesn't deserve it. And the truth is, ladies, that God has been good to us when we don't deserve it. And your spouse may need you to be good to them even though they don't deserve it. Grace has to be at the foundation of any healthy relationship. And ladies, we have to remember that God's been gracious to us. We don't come to God having anything good to offer, and we make mistakes, and your spouse is going to make mistakes, and the best way to come to your marriage and to your spouse is to say, I'm going to choose to let grace be the thing that leads me through this and helps me to keep things in perspective. And again, that was a very powerful part of this of this whole movie was the idea that as she prayed for her, uh, her husband, specific needs, you know, to pray that he would be the man that God designed him to be, that he would have a longing to pursue God. 
And she just continued to pray that over him so that when he came to her finally and was a broken man, she wasn't then ready to just unleash her frustration and her anger and all the things that she could have been justified to say. You're a jerk. You haven't been nice to me. You haven't put our marriage at the forefront of your mind. But instead, she responded with grace. And she was ready to say, I forgive you for those things. And I love you. And because of my love for God, because I understand what God's done for me, I'm going to give you that gift of grace. And here's the last point, the last lesson from this movie that I thought was so powerful was this idea that we need to pass it on. You know, again, ladies, we are being inundated by messages all day long from our media in a world that just says, do whatever you want. Who cares what God's opinion is? You might have friends that are saying to you, even friends that go to your church that are saying, uh, divorce the guy, get out of that relationship, he's a jerk, or you could never trust him again, or you could never love him again. We need to stand up for God's truth. We need to be a voice out there that's saying you can fight for your marriage, you can save your marriage, even if your husband's being a jerk right now, you can pray for him, you can extend grace to him, and you can be ready to you know, go into that war room, your prayer room, and to say, I'm going to pray all those things that I want to see in my spouse and in my marriage and in myself, and then be ready to pass it on to someone else. You know, that's the one thing that we're lacking in the church. Everybody else is talking really loud out there in our world, telling us all sorts of things to think. But as Christians, and especially as Christian women, we're quiet. We're not talking about God's truth. We're not sharing our own wisdom and our own struggles with other women who are struggling. So ladies, let's remember to pass it on. There've got to be women in your life that could hear benefit from this video, could benefit from this movie, could benefit from you coming alongside and saying, just like Miss Clara was for this young woman, to encourage her to pray for her spouse, to pray for her marriage, and to impart wisdom from God's word. Because at the end of the day, ladies, the broader picture is we are fighting an enemy that is a deceiver, and he is trying to take God out of the equation altogether. He's trying to remove God's truth as anything that we should live by. And if we as Christian women don't stand up and pass it on and share and mentor and come alongside other women, then God's truth is just getting watered down more and more, and less and less people are standing up for God, and that'll be a true tragedy for this world, and it's not what God's asked us to be. So use this video, share it with somebody in your life that you know is struggling or could really benefit from this message. Encourage people to go see this movie. And ladies, don't forget, walk alongside someone. Find someone that needs to know the truth of God's word, that needs encouragement right now as they're in a hard time. Be that person for them. Be, be the Miss Clara to somebody in your life.